G'day guys, James here with my first match preview of the second round of finals in 2014. And this is between the Geelong Cats and North Melbourne. Um, it is on Friday at 7.50pm. Now I'll st go straight into it and look at the ins and outs and some huge outs for Geelong with, with Hamish McIntosh going down with a knee and CBJ not playing with his foot injury. He hasn't even been named as an emergency, so we won't see him playing. Um, coming in is Mitch Brown for only his fifth game of the season and Lincoln McCartney for only his fourth... Oh, sorry? Yeah, for only his fourth game of the season. So, very inexperienced coming in for very experienced going out, which could be a problem. Um, milestones there, Mitch Duncan is playing his 100th game for Geelong. Now, for North Melbourne, big in is Boomer Harvey with Ben Jacobs being omitted. So that's a huge in for North. So a big in for North, big outs for Geelong, which could play a factor. Um, go straight into who I think is going to start as sub. Um, again, for North, I'm going to say Kane Turner, as I did last week. For Geelong, um, they've named him on the ground, but it wouldn't surprise me if Lincoln McCarthy, McCarthy starts as sub, as it is only his fourth senior game of the year. Um, now, looking into some form, um, the last ga couple of games they played, um, Geelong in round 10 beat um, beat North Melbourne by 20 points down at Skilled, and in round 19 they beat them by 32 points at Etihad Stadium. So, that's what they're coming into. North Melbourne are coming off four straight wins, while Geelong are coming off one, and Geelong have... Or coming off a loss. So Geelong looked very poor last week, and as did North Melbourne, I have to say, especially in the first half, North didn't look like a finals team. Um, Geelong didn't look like a finals team for the whole game, losing by 36. I had them, my tip was to have them up and play better footy than that, but they were just starstruck. So it's going to be very interesting looking at that form. The last quarter form of North Melbourne looked amazing, especially with... Drew Petrie, Ben Brown, and Lindsay Thomas playing really well in that. And Levi Greenwood has been brilliant all year. He's just flown way under the radar. So that's my first key matchup is the North Melbourne forward line versus the Geelong back line. And I still would rate the Geelong back line as one of the best in the comp. With Harry Taylor, Tom Monaghan, Jared Rivers, Andrew Mackey, Corey, and Ryan Cam Guthrie off that back line versus Levi Greenwood, Ben Brown, Boomer Harvey, Lindsay Thomas, Drew Petrie, and Aaron Black. Now, that forward line is on fire for North, especially after last weekend with Boomer coming back. But I still think Geelong have a very good back line, and they're going to negate that game. They're going to try and shut down their big men, and they'll run with their short men and do that floating halfback that they always do really well. So I reckon that's going to be pretty even in the North forward line. Looking at the midfield, you've got for Geelong, Kelly Selwood Duncan, um, by Clavs, who has a huge task in the ruck against Todd Goldstein, Josh Caddy, and Jimmy, not Jimmy Bartell, George Hall and Smith, versus Dow Sal, Swallow, Wells, Goldstein, Cunnington, and Zebel. And again, that John Cats midfield looks really good, but they didn't do it last week. North Melbourne's midfield is okay on paper. Um, ruck battle between Goldstein and, and By Clavs, as well as um, Mitch Brown. I think that um, North will have that. I think North will have that uh, at ruck line. So, but the midfield again. I think Geelong have got one of the best midfields as well. So, yeah, um, Geelong's forward line has Motlop, Brown, and Murdoch, for, and Lincoln McCarthy, Tom Hawkins, and Jimmy Bartell. Tom Hawkins was very well shut down last week by Brian Lake and Josh Gibson. As I said, um, I said that whoever had the better game, or not whoever had the better game, but. Um, you know, he'd be hard to stop, and for him to be stopped, it would be a combined effort, and it was, and he was shut down and taken out of the game, basically. Um, versus the back line of Luke McDonald, Scott Thompson, Michael Ferrito, Sam Wright, Nathan Grimer, and Sean Atley. And that, that back line has played very well. Um, I still think that Geelong Cats forward line is better than the North back line, but they just don't have form. Um, as I said last week, and I was head on, even though I tipped wrong, I said the better game out of Joel Selwood... And um, and Sam Mitchell would win the game, and Sam Mitchell had a better game. Simple as that. It's not going to be as simple as that this week. I reckon the ruck battle is going to play a huge part in the win, uh, who who wins and who loses. 
Um, and I think North can win that ruck battle. But it's all down to hitouts to advantage. Now, I think the inexperience of Geelong will be shown, especially with two of their six forwards playing less than five senior games this year. Um, and with Stevie Johnson, Hamish McIntosh out, which is huge outs, and Boomer Harvey, X Factor, coming back in, and he'll move through that um, that midfield. And at, what is he, 37 years old? He is one of the best midfielders and half forwards at the moment in the league at 37. And so you can't rule him out of doing anything. Um, I, George Hall and Smith may run with him just because he's that damaging. Um, Geelong don't tend to um, put a tag on anyone, but they may have to. Um, but again, he's coming off three weeks, so who knows whether he'll have any form or whether he'll be playing any good. So we, we can't tell that yet. Um, I'm going to go straight into my tips. Um, now, I'm going to just quickly have a look here. I haven't even checked this. Look at the live odds. And they are very close. And I would say they're really close. Um, the odds are North Melbourne at $2 and Geelong at $1.80. And I think the match is going to reflect those odds. Um, it's going to be a very, very tight match the whole day. So I reckon Geelong can come out hard. And if they come out hard... They'll be the front runners, and they have to hold off North coming back. If North can hold on in that first half, it's going to be a very, very good arm wrestle, and that's why I think it's going to happen. I reckon North are going to learn from last week. They're going to try and shut down Geelong from the start rather than trying to claw their way back. So I think North can do that. They can stop Geelong scoring freely, and um, they're going to hold on all the way to the end. And I think it's going to be an absolute nail biter, and. But I think that Geelong, with the talent and the skill that they have in that team, third versus sixth, they're third for a reason. They finished top four for a reason. They got the second chance for a reason. And I think their their experience is going to play out. Jimmy Bartel's 26th final, which is a Geelong record. Um, I think they're going to win, but it's going to be a nail-biter. It wouldn't surprise me if we went to extra time. don't think it's going to happen, but it wouldn't surprise me. I'm going to tip Geelong by three points. So... There, that's my tip for the first game, Friday night. Um, so, I'm going to put up, probably tomorrow, the Fremantle-Port Adelaide game. Um, actually, it'll probably be, I'm probably going to put this up tomorrow morning, so I'll put it up today. Um, and, yeah, so check it out. Check this one out. Do whatever you want with it. You can ignore me, put a comment, look at the rest of the videos. I'm going to put some more wash-ups on as well, so keep an eye on that. Um, this is James saying have a good one. Watch the rest of my videos, and I'll catch you next time.